before we get to the post method it says it shows us an error which says forbidden csrf token so i forgot to add one thing inside our form and that is the csrf token so what is this csrf exactly you can google it if you want but it stands for cross site request forgery so what it does is it kind of makes our form more secure and our website more secure so we just have to add this tag called csrf token and press enter and that's pretty much it so we're gonna press stop. Let's run the server again and see what's up. So now we can go back over here, press enter, and you'll be able to see that the get has been printed. But if you press on this let me in button, and if we go back over here, you can see that the post has been printed. And that is because whenever we transfer it from our index.html to views.py, the request changes instead of getting the getting the web page it is getting the form and we are sending the form with the post request that is why the post is being printed anyways the next thing we need to do is transfer these uh, the first name and the email from our index.html to our views.py file how do we do that it's pretty easy we can just create a variable let's call it uh, f name which stands for first name and then we can just write request dot post dot get and inside this we are going to write the name that we gave over here so the first name the name is f name and in the email the name is email so what we can do is inside this uh, views.py file over here we can just write f name and let's actually see whether we got it or not but let's actually do it for email also so we are just gonna copy and paste it over here and let's print out f name and email to see whether they have uh, been received or not so let's uh, stop the server let's run it again run server press enter and let's wait for it to run let's go over here and over here now we can just press enter and uh, in the first name i'm just going to write Atreya, and in the email i'm just going to put in my email click on let me in and if we go to our uh, our indexed file and our views.py file as you can see we have printed out the f name and uh, Atre has been printed over here 